Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. So we are revealing group one. Sorry, my microphone's all tangled up here. Revealing group one of the swap on my page, um, Coffee Cake and Crafting. This was the 12 days of Christmas cards and tags. So in this group, we have Heather Haney, Kim Clonwell, Lasagna Burger, and Robin Woods. So <clears throat> I didn't take all everyone's out of the packages. Um, as you can see over here and up here, my desk is a mess again, even though I just cleaned it. But, um, you know, it is what it is. So I don't want to get anything lost or mixed up. So um, huh, there's my Christmas list I was looking for. Anyway, so let's get started. So this one is from Heather. This is how hers come packaged. So cute. Everyone gets a snowflake with their initial on it. And the cute little ho 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 bag. You guys found like the cutest bags ever. And I am a bag lady. I, let me tell you, I have just stuff in bags everywhere and I love it. Okay. So let's take these out. And. Okay, so this one says don't open until Christmas, so we'll save that. I'm going to actually put that in my, uh, well, downstairs on my tree. Um, so we're not going to open that. <laughs> That's so fun. And I don't know if you guys got this or not. Again, I didn't open to see, so I'm going to wait till Christmas to open that, I promise. Um, okay, so this is day nine, day five. Oh, cute. And day one. Okay, so let me... Oh, day one, day nine, day five. So day one. Oh, you guys have to see this, the cutest little card um, from Lasagna. <laughs> How cute is this guy? So I quit being a Stampin' Up! demonstrator just because I wasn't really liking the stamp sets and stuff that were coming out. And then, of course, the second I quit, they come out with this stamp set, the coffee stamp set that I really, really like. I haven't ordered anything, um, not for any particular reason other than... I don't. I didn't. So there's that. <laughs> okay. So where's my cheat sheet? Ah, did I lose my cheat sheet? So I thought I was so clever in writing everything down. Oh, here it is. Okay. All right. So next um, would be Kim. This is how hers come packaged in this cute little penguin bag. Um, we're going to gently open this one so we can do the reveal video. So I'm going to open her days by themselves so I can package it back up and put it back. Um, she's days 2, 6, and 10. <clears throat> and then um, Lasagna is day 3. And that's Robin. This is Lasagna here. This is how hers come packaged. Everyone's name has um, puffy glitter. So cute. So I like to bring all these to work because uh, me and my really good friend at work, her name is Tiffany too. So um, we like to put the stuff all over our cubbies at work. So, you know, the perks of having the same name as a crafter. <laughs> okay, so let's open this. I love this ribbon. Okay, is it just tied in or? Yeah. All right. Okay, so here are her three, and let's put this nicely over here. There we go. Okay, so she's day three, so I'm going to do day two in just a second. Um, three, four. Okay, so day four is Robin. Y'all know I'll get it together in just a second. That and then this is how Robin's come packaged, super cute, um, in snowflake bags. So this year I've had this thing with snowflakes. Everything I have done has been snowflakes this year. So she has her information here. Oh, she's playing craft love on Instagram. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Anyway, sorry. Um, let's just take this off. Oh, there we go. And one, two, three, 
four. Ooh, these goodies. Eight and twelve. Okay. So let's go ahead and open. Ah, there we go. Stay. Okay. Let me go ahead and gently open this one. I'm not going to show you who's I'm opening because I'm going to put it back together and you'll never ever know. So these are the ones from Kim. Kim wants day two, six, and ten. Day two was a tag, day six was a gift, and day ten was a card. Yes, I wrote it down this time so I can just quickly look over and cheat. <laughs> okay, so day two we have. Um, let's see if I want to. Yeah, this is an easy one to open. Okay, good. Okay, so day two we have something. Ooh. I'm being extra super gentle. Oh, so cute. So we have Winter Wonderland tags. So we have this cute little stars. I love Winter Wonderland theme. There's the two from. This one says Merry Christmas. It has a doily and a star with some stickles. These are cute. And they're on like shipboard, I'm assuming. And it's a stitched tag. Those are really cute. Some flat back pearls to match. So cute. And okay, let's get these back in here. And you go back in the bag. I like this jute twine. It's like a linen color. I wonder if this is linen thread and not more likely that's what this is. Okay. So those are her tags. And then next is day six, which is her gift. But let me um let me just put this back together. Sorry guys, this is where your fast forward button would be really good. Um, because I'm not going to use mine. You guys know that. All right, and then we'll just get this right back. Look at how cute these little tags are. It has the smallest little bow on top. That's so cute. Okay, let me tie this back in here. Okay. Brand new. Nobody knows. Tie a little bow. Okay, back to perfect. Okay, so day six. <clears throat> oh, cute. Look at this flower. I like this flower. Let's look at this closely. Maybe I should zoom in. Let me see if I can zoom in. There we go. Okay. So day six is the gift. It looks like she has made a box. Oh, super cute. And everyone, for your store-bought gift, you are getting this super cute um, burlap ribbon. I like that. Where's this from? Big Michael's burlap and snowflakes. This is a super cute idea, this little box. Um, Tammy did one of these over on Country Craft Creation. She did one similar to this, um, for the Christmas or what was it? What are the, the crap stuff we just did? Crop swap. We just did. So everyone gets this super layered star and pearl ornament. Oh, look, she even layered the back. And it's chipboard. Super cute. So you get two of the, oh wait, look at this one. This one has hangy pieces. Oh, that's cute. This is like the I love you to the moon and back. That's what it reminds me of. So it hangs like the so. Oh, that's really clever. So you can put these on your tree. That's a lot of work right there. Okay. Right, so that's get back in there nicely. Okay, and then the box is so cute. It's like craft paper, and she edged all of it with the paper and double layered the top. And day 10 is cards. So these are her three by three cards. She made the cute little pizza box for it. Oh, you guys know this is my favorite right here. It says believe. Look at that. So cute. I need that stamp or whatever that is. 
So I have this obsession with the word believe. You guys know from the other. Oh, this one says it too. And it's not even a Christmas thing. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, it's just, you know, I have believe here. And it's just it's just near and dear to my heart. It's just personal. Um, just basically believe in yourself and, and don't let anyone tell you anything different. Because, you know, at the end of the day, you're great. So that's what the believe means to me. And anything that says believe, I buy it. I love Christmas time because, of course, everything says believe because believe in Santa. But, um, you know, above and beyond that, I'm a true believer in just being yourself and believing in your abilities. Um, whether you have full abilities or limited abilities, just, you know, believe in yourself. Uh, my mom used to write, uh, and this, my, this verse says breathe. Um, my mom used to write breathe and believe on my, um, on my arms when I was, um, so I'm trying to tie and talk at the same time. It's not working out. Um, uh, when I was in elementary school, because I believe it or not, was super painfully shy. Like I didn't talk to anybody. I didn't, um, I didn't want to have friends. I didn't want to do anything because I was so painfully shy and I had, um, severe like test anxiety and so I would literally faint during tests because I would forget to breathe and it's not that I didn't know the test matter because um I was so like worried that I you know that I wouldn't get an A that I studied so hard and my mom was always like okay first and foremost remember to breathe so you know I don't have to be called in um and second of all just believe in yourself because you know you know it and um you know, you got this, just do it. And so when she started writing the Breathe and Believe in Sharpie, um, it just kind of reminded me to do just that, to breathe and believe. And that's my story there. And um, it just stuck with me. And now as an adult, you know, I got the two the two tattoos. Um, and of course, you know, my other hand one, and then this hand one that says, not the day Satan. Um, Cause see, with my mom talking about believe in yourself, she done created a monster that you guys love to watch now. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's where that came from. But anyway, um, it just went on a tangent there, but I put that swap back together. So let's go into these ones. Um, that one we can't open until December 25th. So let's get into number one, which is Heather. Um, look at how cute this is. Warm wishes. It's a hug in a mug and it is wet embossed with like a textured glitter black. Oh, the Believe sticker. Okay. Guys, it's nine o'clock at night. I've been wrapping gifts all day. So if I'm a little loopy, my bad. And I'm still getting over my sinus infection. So, you know, that is what it is. So day one is cards. So she did a super cute Santa card. Um, she did a little, the, the different sizes, because remember the minimum was three by three, um, but she made a couple of different sizes for you guys. Oh, cute. Happy holidays to you and yours. It's a Santa on a, um, like a snowflake, and that's the inside. Cute. And it has a little pom-pom. And that's the Santa envelope. I like this envelope. And then, look at this purple. It's like an eggplant purple. It's really pretty. Oh, cute. I love birds. Season's Greetings. And it is gold embossed and hand colored. And I don't know if she hand did the background. I know there's a way you can do that with your inks. Um, but it's a lot of work, so you won't see me doing it. <laughs> it made the beauty of the season bring you joy. Oh, cute. And then the back is ombre as well. That's really cute. And there's her stamp. Um, yeah, I love the ombre backgrounds and the shaving foam backgrounds and all that business. But uh, I yeah, know I'm an I'm an easy crafter, and I don't like to be dirty, so I don't like my hands to get dirty. All right, so that's day one. Day two, we already gone over. So day three is from lasagna and hers are cards as well because we already looked at the tag so i can go ahead and tear into these ones 
All right. Oh, cute. This is really cute. I'm a tissue paper person. And I have like a whole stack of it down here on my floor. Um, so she has some paper clips with some, um, I don't know if this is washi or she painted and decorated, but this side is polka dots and this has little trees. And we have um, this. Oh, cute. So she gave it extra little goodie. Oh, wait, this is the closure. Haha, <laughs> so cute. And then the tags so you can write your address. Um, yeah, so that's the envelope for, I'm assuming, this card. Let's find out. Oh, cute. Okay, so let's take them out. Oh, that's a really cute idea. So she put it on some paper so that way we could um, have that visual effect for the little card. And, oh, this is so cute. Look at this button. So she used some peppermint um, bows. These are those trick me peppermints. It's not peppermint, it's cinnamon. You know, like the ones Pizza Hut have. And you think, oh yeah, my breath stank. Let me get some cinnamon. Uh, let me get a peppermint and a cinnamon. Mm -hmm. See, so, yeah, I know how I feel. <laughs> this is so cute. So she did some foil work. Um, die cut. It says joy with a little snowflake. Um, a double bow with the button. That's actually a button. Um, and on the inside we have an epoxy peppermints. Cute. Oh, I like that. So that goes with this and then you close it with your button snowflake closure. That's a really good idea. So it'll just fit nicely and then you close it. That's clever. Cause I'm always trying to like, I hate putting score tape on the top. Um, and I'm like, oh, let me go in a creative way. And I'm just going to steal that idea. <laughs> this is her second card on the 3x3. Three three. I don't know. I didn't remember. Did Were we supposed to do one 3x3, three three, one regular size? I feel like that's what everyone's doing. Um, you know, I make these swaps up and I don't even know what's supposed to be done. <coughs> Excuse me. So she did a cute little coffee cup or teacup. Um, has the cutest little doily. It says enjoy some glitter coffee. And it has like Wink of Stella on the bottom and some rhinestones, warm wishes, and mistletoe kisses. Oh, cute. And then here is the envelope. And this closure is a craft snowflake and a white button. That's really cute. I like this paper collection. Okay, so that is day three cards. Yeah. Okay. And then we have day four, which is tags from Robin. And um, I need to get this back in here, guys, because I will mix this up with my Christmas cards I'm sending out. And I will just be really upset if I mail out the stuff. I like to, you know, I will mail this out and, um, you know, share it with my family, um, on some stuff. Cause I do use the stuff you guys send me and I pass it along, but you know, I need to hoard it for at least a year before I pass it on. <laughs> All right. Day four tags from Robin. She has that. Oh, I thought this was washi tape. Oh my gosh. That's so cute. So she did snowflake shakers, snow globes, and there are snowflake pieces in here. Some, um, come down. Some iridescent little like raindrops. Oh, I guess it would help if y'all could see. That's really cute. And some sequins in there. Can you see the iridescent ones? You can kind of see them a little bit. I think they're raindrops. That's what they look like to me anyway. And here's your hanging element with your two from on the back. Oh, good use of the negatives. Super cute. Um, 
this year I've done everything snowflakes. I think I said it on this video. I don't know if it was this video. I've done like eight videos. So, um, and my favorite color is red. So yeah, there you go. And this one's so cute. It says Merry Christmas with a cute little bow and some jingle bells. I like putting bells on my tree because when I know when my dogs go and touch my tree. That's really cute. Two from the back. That's cute. Okay, so sorry guys, you know how I get distracted and I love to sit here and look at stuff. Okay, I'm going to try to go faster. Day 5, Heather. It's her gift. And we have the cutest little Ghirardelli um, envelope. Remember these are like the little origami paper cups that you used to make and you do a square and you do the fold. Um, ooh, dark chocolate mint. This is my son's favorite. I may share that with him. Um, yeah, I used to make these all the time in school when I was like in, um, elementary school and my friends used to think I was so cool because I knew how to make origami cups and you just basically, and you can use them, like you'd fold this piece down and you can actually use them at the water fountain for, you know, a one-time use. I learned it in Japan because that's where, um, I lived for a little while. All right. So, and you can always reuse these chalk board tags. It looks like she used the chalk writers, so you can always just erase it and use it again. All right, so this gift is oh so cute. Uh, me and my big ideas. It is a Hello Friend sticker pack. I have never seen these. These are really cute. Hashtag selfie. Adorbs. I say that all the time. So it's like planner, time with friends, my girls, adventure, hello friend, girl gang. Um, distant means so little when someone means so much. Soul sisters. Because of you, I laugh a little harder and cry a little less and smile a little bit more. <laughs> no one will ever be as entertained by us as us. So true. Friends don't let friends do things silly alone. Uh, this is so cute. Hashtag coffee. Love this. That's my, I say that too. I love this pack. Yeah, so cute. Thank you so much for that. Okay. Um, <clears throat> day six we already did. Day seven is another gift. And day seven is lasagna. Well, I guess I'm not saying that to your favor. Oh, cute. You guys are getting me super cool fabric. I need to go to John's fabric. That's all there is to it. So it's like faux leather made into a bow. And see, the glitter's not rubbing off. This is my type of glitter. See? Nothing. So cute. I love that. And blue is my daughter's favorite color, so she's probably going to steal that from me. Well, that's okay, because if I share my chocolate with my son, then, you know, I've got to share the bow with my daughter. Super cute. So here's a little tassel charm. I don't know if you made... Oh, you did make this. It's a bookmark. Oh, fun. Oh, cute. So you can put it in your book. I'm not going to undo it, so that way we can see. You guys in this jewelry, I love it. I just, I don't have the patience. There's a cute little tassel and then some beads and some jump rings. Ha, I need the word. So cute. And then she has some cord and some iridescent or sheer ribbon. <coughs> I'm really going through it. Oh, cute. And then she, um, her store-bought gift is the, um, notebook and the crown pen which those of you who um, have won prizes or have been in swaps with me as a participant you have received these crown pens too and I love these crown pens I got mine from Amazon for cheap <coughs> sorry guys this is my cup that I use <laughs> eat cake for breakfast um, 
Okay, so I got mine from Amazon. I did not pay for the Prime because to pay for Prime, the pens were like $14.99, but if you waited for them to come from China, they were like 12 for like three bucks. So that's what I did. So these are so cute. And the cutest little Joy notebook. You guys know I have a million notebooks in my purse, but you know what? I use them. I use a lot of paper um, because I'm always having ideas and I have a lot of these notebooks on my nightstand. So what I tell you guys, I use them. I use them. Like I, I do. They're, near, they're at my nightstand. They're at work. They're in my car. They're in my purse. I'm like a bad lady notebook lady. <laughs> All right, next is day eight, and eight is Robin. I don't know why I couldn't find that. <clears throat> so her store-bought are the cute lace stickers that we all, well, so I didn't know dollar stores are different. Um, so what's in my dollar store may not be in your dollar store and vice versa. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm very grateful that um, you know, I'm military, I have friends in a lot of different states. And so when I see like these haul videos and you know, my dollar store may have this and yours doesn't, but you have something that I want. I just find whichever one of my friends are in that state or close to that state and say, Hey, can you go pick this up for me? It works out. <clears throat> and there's a couple of things that I used to get from the England dollar store that I super love. And so I have a couple of British friends still over there and I'm like, Hey, go pick this up from Power World for me. So here's her um, handmade, so cute. So she did the um, bows. And what is this paper? I can't tell if this is paper or if it's that faux. Oh no, it's paper. It's so cute because it didn't smush or anything. So I thought it was that faux leather stuff again. But no, it's paper. Hey, clever. I love these bows. I use them. I make them. Y'all saw all the nine million bows I made. Um, she also gave some Andes. I do like Andes. I'm going to put these over here. And then she gave everyone a super cute made with love stamp. This is so cute. Make sure um, you guys are stamping the back of your cards <clears throat> and taking credit for your work. Okay, so day nine is Heather, and these are our tags. Oh, so cute. So my mom loves Cardinals. Cardinals are her absolute favorite. And I found, oh, it's a bag. Cute. Um, I found the cutest Cardinal paper at Walmart, wrapping paper. So that's what she's getting this year. And I'm probably going to spend more on shipping than if I just would have sent the gift to my mom directly. But um, I really wanted to wrap it in that Cardinal paper. So it was worth it. All right. So I'm just going to take out the staples carefully because I'm going to reuse this bag. <clears throat> so we have come out. Oh, she made the topper, the wine bottle label. Um, oh, that's the front of the bag. That's with me. Okay, so her tags. She did a two from the cutest little stickled snowman. And I don't know what paper this is, but that's super cool. The snow, the big letter paper, and then he's stickled up. It's so cute. And it says, hello, winter. And then there's the two from. And she made the wine topper. Or, I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be a wine label. But, um, you know, I just did this swap on Simply Shantae. So you can put it on anything you want, like glitter glue or wine or you know, whatever you can fit in the hole. That's a really cute idea. Oh, I like this. this is textured paper. And it's Merry Christmas. So cute. And it's um, Winkestella and Stickled. I'm going to keep that one over here. Okay, so that was day something. Nine. Okay, ten we've already saw. We've already seen. 11 is um, lasagna tags. Oh, uh, it's right there. Okay. And we have, oh, cute. So here's her packaging. So cute. With the um, 
holly in the the holly berries I think that's what those are called or cranberries those might be cranberries and the sprig <clears throat> and then we have one and come on two. Oh, so cute so we have that um, silver shimmer bow another one of the snowflakes with a button and a bow it says memories I like the shape and then there's the two from so cute and then we have the um, oh my god snow globe I was gonna call it a shaker globe <laughs> I collect snow globes too. I have a million of them. Matter of fact, I need to pull those out. So I was doing my decorations yesterday and today, but I didn't pull out my snow globes and I need to do that. Um, I have to be careful because my dog, she's a puppy and she likes to get into everything. So I don't put my snow globes out year round. I just put them out at Christmas on the top shelves. So and this is a little Christmas spirit brightens all the world. I don't know if she hand wrote that. She might have. It's really cute. And she um, glossy accented the wax to make it look like a melting candle. And then we have the snowflake glitter paper. That's really cute. And there's the two from. I wonder if snowflake is stamping up too. God, I might have to get back into it. <laughs> Thanks, lasagna. I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's what happens. I see stuff that I want. But. You know, I don't really sell the stuff, and I'm pretty much my only and best customer, so, you know. Okay, and now we have our Day 12 from Robin, and these are cards. Okay, so... Oh, cute. It says, it's Christmas time, and it has the, um... What do you call these things? Like a wreath? Oh, fun. Okay. Here's that. You can put pictures here. That's what I would do. So how cute would that be? Especially if it's someone's first Christmas and you put their picture, like the first Christmas together, and you put their pictures that you stole from Facebook and just stick them on there. <laughs> Not that I have done that. Wink, wink. Um, that'd be really cute. And then you can put 2017. Super cute. And then she has Evelyn. Um, let me put this back in the envelope. Okay. That's really cute. This is one of those fancy folds. It says, believe in the magic of Christmas. It's this uh, snowflake and a candy cane and glitter paper with a piece of embossing um, snowflakes. And it's a, like a gate fold. Fancy folds. So cute. All right, guys. Well, that is group one. Um, I hope to have group one out in the mail tomorrow. Um, everything was delayed due to the crazy weather. And I know you Southern girls, uh, I'm so sorry that the snow has gotten you when it normally doesn't. Like, you know, from Alabama, Louisiana, places where it's never snowed in 30, 40, 50 years, now has snow. Um and thankfully, Idaho does not have snow because this time last year, we were under about two feet of snow. So I'm sorry y'all are dealing with it, but I'm happy I'm not. And then watch, I wake up in the morning, it's going to be snow. <laughs> but anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Bye.